Welcome back to this Thursday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on, on SABC3 and we are indeed so happy to welcome in studio this morning Miss South Africa, Lisa Laurie. And it's not just for any day that she's here today. She's in fact leading the Take a Girl Child to Work Day, which sees companies all across the country taking grade 10 to 12 girls to show them uh, how their businesses work and thus educating them, empowering them and giving them a bit of a sense of what the future might hold for them. So it's great to have you here Thank to you be so talking much. about this. How, how's your rain been so far? It's been a little bit of a whirlwind, yeah. but um, I've been enjoying every moment. Excellent stuff. So let's talk a bit more about the campaign, which has now been going on for the past 13 years. Yes. What do you think is the greater effect that it has on young women out there? I think it shows them the reality of what it is to work, um, to be in a working environment. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a doctor, and my granny actually took me to our um, family physician and made me spend a day with him. And I'm grateful that she did that because then I realized that maybe it wasn't as glitz and glam as it looked <laughs> on television, but it was actually something that I, I couldn't do. Yes. Yeah. And was, so your grandma, was she one of the people that played quite an important role in encouraging you to pursue your dreams? Absolutely. She was someone that would help me and guide me in everything I did. Like I said, if I said I wanted to be this, she'd find someone that is that uh, in that career and say yeah. to me, well, speak to them and find out if it's really something you want to do. Yeah. So that's how I ended up um, doing what I do now I'm an accountant. Um, thank you. Well. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so yes. Um, so yeah, and, and tell me more about. I mean, because right now you are the kind of the like compass by which many young girls fix their direction where they want to go. So what are you going to be doing today to try and help them, encourage them? How are you going to be spending today? So we'll be visiting Parliament today mm -hmm. and I will be giving a talk um, at one of my sponsors just teaching these young girls that it's important to obviously know mm -hmm. um, what it is that you want for yourself and finding out, researching um, what it is that you need to know for a specific career. Yeah, but I mean what about that advice though because I mean I, I've got the trouble right now where I'm trying to help my little sister decide what she wants to study next year but you know my life and the way the times that I grew up in are very very different so what advice do you have for young girls out there about pursuing their dreams finding their passions and living a happy life, I guess. Research. Mm -hmm. We have the internet at our fingertips. We have it on our cell phones, on our laptops. It's everywhere. So if you're unsure about something, research the career, research a path that you want to go down. Mm -hmm. Because I think that we live in an era where everything is very accessible to us. So there's no excuse to say that I didn't know or I wasn't sure. Exactly. And it's not just the internet. We have libraries. We have people like yourself walk up to someone and say, is it really worth it for me to do this? Do you think I should in this um, day and age? So That's very, very true. And what does the rest of the year hold for you? So after this, uh, what else are you going to be getting involved in? I'll be busy with a few projects. Mm -hmm. I have my own NPO that I run. Right. And I've got random acts of kindness that I'll be doing throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And visiting many, many schools. Um, just doing my poll project um, for, for various schools. Fantastic yes. stuff. Well, we are proud to have you as an ambassador. And thank you very much for leading the campaign. It's called Take a Girl Child to Work Day. And so to all young ladies out there, I hope that you have fun, that you discover a lot about the world out there, and that you become empowered and encouraged. Well, speaking of empowerment and encouragement, lots of people are, of course, preparing for the Comrades Marathon coming up. And we've got some tips to help you get prepared.